Hello, Joe Chiron here with RCT, Remote Certification Training, and today we are going to go over referencing a power meter and light source and testing a fiber. So we have our power meter and our light source, and we're going to be testing single, a single mode cable. So this is going to be our fiber under test. And in order to do this, we also have our launch cable for our light source and our landing cable or receive cable for a power meter. We're also going to need two adapters so we can make the connections between the two fibers. I have my trusty quick click here to clean the end faces and I also have my microscope here that I'm going to use to inspect the end faces before we mate, and before we, uh, mate the connectors together to make sure there's no dirt and scratches. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to turn both our power meter and light source on. And I'm going to, so you can see here right now the power meter is reading, it's on 1550. And it's low because it's not receiving any energy. So even if I take the cap off here and sometimes I can get it to you put some light, well, it's not going to receive any light. So we know that it's low and it's waiting to receive light. Next thing, we'll turn on our light source. And you can see here. This guy's at 1310. I'm going to use the uh, wavelength changer or switch and I'm going to change it to 1550. With your light source and power meter, whenever you're testing, you got to make sure that they are both on the same wavelength. Okay, so, so we have our light source here. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to inspect the cables to make sure there are no scratches or dirt on the end faces. And this guy's good. And I'm going to do the other side before I plug into the light source because you should never look through a microscope with a cable that is plugged into a light source because it'll get light radiation into your eye, which is not a good thing. So we're going to plug in. Okay. So I have my light source ready. So now I'm going to look at the cable assemblies for the power meter. It looks good. And that looks good. And we'll plug them in one side. Now I'm going to get my adapter here. Adapter here, plug one connector inside here, plug the other connector in this side here. Okay. So as you can see, we have negative 5 dBm coming out of this side, and it's reading 4.75 dBm on this side, negative. So, you know, there's a little bit of loss in the fiber and the connection. There is, remember, from our light source and our power meter, there is a physical connection in the light source. There is not a physical connection at the end faces of the power meter, but that's fine. Because our object here is to reference out these two cables and the two connections in between, we will go on our power meter here and we will hit our reference button. Now you can see we had zero dBs, okay, on this. So we've taken out the loss of the launch cable, the receive cable, and also the adapter where the two connections are made. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this. Get our cable under test here. I'll take a look at hand, the end faces also to make sure they're good. That guy's good. And that guy's also good. I plug one end in here. And then I'm going to take the other adapter that I brought along. Connect, make that connection. And then I'm going to plug in here. And now we see here we have a 0.2 dB loss across that one cable. So our fiber under test with the, it's got, there's two connection pairs and the fiber in between. We got a point, now it says 0.19. So it's around 0 0.2, 0 0.19. So that's definitely within acceptable range. And now we know that that fiber under test has a loss of 0.19 dB. And that's how you reference out cables uh, to test a fiber under test using a power meter and light source. Thank you.